Hi everyone! Today I want to show you how to customize the appearance of your email in Outlook. Now when you first set up your Outlook, you'll see that the default, it defaults to the columns that you see here. And these are important, reminder, icon, attachment, from, subject, received, size, categories, and flag. Now, most of us probably don't have a clue what any of those things, what all of those things are. And most of us probably don't have a need to have all of that stuff there, all of that clutter in how our email is displayed. So I'm going to show you a very simple way to go ahead and get rid of um, the columns that you really don't want to be seeing there. So the first thing we want to do is click on Tools up here at the top left. Then we want to find Organize and we're going to click now on you that. You see that you can do quite a few things here, but for, um, for the purpose of this demonstration, we want to click on Using Views. And again, you see that Outlook gives you several different options. But remember, our purpose is to customize. So we want to go over here to the right where it says Customize Current View. And let's click on that. Now, in this pop-up box, remember these columns that we just talked about, Importance Reminder. Those are the columns that you see listed there next to the fields. So let's click on Fields. And there you have the list of the columns that are currently being displayed in your email. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of the ones that we really have no use for. Now there are two ways that you can delete these columns. The first way is to just double click and you'll see that it disappears. And the second way is you can highlight it and click remove. But because I like quick and easy, I'm just going to double click. And there I've gotten rid of the ones that I don't want to see. Now, there are, if you look to the left, this is the list of all of the columns that are available. And so you can go ahead and add some, or you can just leave what you have there and carry on. But I like to add sent and to, because I like to know um, when it was sent and who it was sent to. So, and then if you look now, we've added those two columns. Now what we want to do is we want to customize how they appear, the order in which they appear in the email. So I want to put attachment here at the end and I like to keep that particular field so that when I at a glance I could see if something has an attachment or not. Um, especially if I'm expecting an email some, from somebody that should include an attachment, I can see at a glance that it, it, it arrived and it does include the attachment. Also, it's a good way for me to kind of, um, you know, feel things out if I see an unfamiliar email and I see that there's an attachment. Okay, so I want to go ahead and I like from to be first and then I like to know who they sent it to. Um, and the reason this is important, because sometimes when you want to do sorting in your email, you might you might want to sort your email by something that was sent, say, to your assistant and you were copied on or to your boss and you were copied on, you know, or to other people and you want to sort by that column to see things that were sent directly to you or where you were the first person in the list. Um, and then the next important thing for me is the subject. Of course, we want to know what, what the email is about. And I'd also like to know when I received it. Um, but what I'm going to do is put sent over here because I like to know who it came from, who it was sent to, and when it was sent. And then, of course, the subject, when I received it, and if there's any attachment. So that's what I like to see. And again, you can move these things around using, you highlight it, and you could click on this, and it moves it, or it moves it down. Or just what I did here, you can drag them. You just hold your mouse down and just drag on them, and they'll move to wherever you want. So once you've removed the ones you don't want, you've added the ones you want, and you've sorted it in the order you like, then you, you're ready to click OK. So again, we're going to click OK, and we're going to go and click on the X to close this menu. And there you have it. Now you can see that 
the clutter is gone and only the columns that I want, that I selected, are available. There's the from, the to, the sent, the subject received, and the attachment. Now let me just show you another little trick. Even though we've gone and we've rearranged the columns from within the last menu, you can also, just by clicking on your mouse, left click and hold it down, you can move the columns around even after you've made the selections you've made um, using the, the method that, that I just showed you. So you're not stuck and you don't have to go all the way back in there. You can just move things around just by clicking, I mean, clicking on it and holding down your mouse and just dragging it. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to customize the way your email appears. Now, if you enjoyed this video or if you found it useful, I would really appreciate it if you would just make a comment to that effect below. And um, if there's anything else regarding Outlook that you would like to hear me share, please feel free to make an indication. And for that matter, anything else as it relates to your com the tools that you use, the applications that you use on your computer, or anything related to your online business, just leave me a note and tell me you know, you, you're looking for some more information and I'd be more than happy to steer you in the, di in the direction of where you can find that information. So for now, thank you very much. And I do look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.